Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Again, just doing an update. I am now six days out from NPC Universe and I'm feeling really, really good. I've been getting a lot of sleep, a lot of rest. Um, changing up my schedule a little bit has seemed to help a lot. So I'm feeling really good about everything. I'm not super tired. Um, I am hungry, but again, that's normal with any type of prep and I am just pushing through. So, um, I'm, I know I've talked to you guys about, you know, how I'm going to start putting out better content, better quality videos, etc. Um, I'm going to be starting that soon. I'm actually, as we speak, downloading a video editor to my computer. That way I can start editing videos. Um, I already have a camera. I've just, like I've mentioned before, been so slammed with everything. I haven't been able to do it. Um, some things I want to talk about during prep for peak week is, um, a lot of people have been asking me on my Instagram, by the way, if you're not following me on my Instagram, please go follow me. It's Casey Lou Fit, C-A-S-E-Y-L-U-F-I-T. Um, I get lots of questions from there. And the number one question is, is how do I not binge and continue to binge after a show? Now, I will say this. After a show, I have whatever I want. Like, after a universe, I ate, like, three two-pound cookies. Yeah. And then I had, that night, I had, like, a pint of haagen -Dazs. Like, I eat whatever I want after the show. But as soon as that day and that night's over with, I don't just continue on with that binge and continue eating crap the entire time. I stop and I get back on my meal plan the next day. If not the next day, then as soon as possible. So after NPC Universe, I had that stuff that night. I pretty much got back on my, my meal plan the next day. I did go out to dinner that night and I kind of ate fairly clean. I had like green beans, salmon, some cabbage. Um, I had like a house salad, but I did have dessert. So for dessert, I have like a half of a piece of cake and a half of an ice cream donut. Um, later on that night, I did have like some cookie dough because we went walking around the city. So we found this cool little place that served nothing but cookie dough, kind of like ice cream. So I had that. But Sunday, I immediately got back on track. Um, I also trained even though I was eating like crap. I, let's see, Saturday, I trained twice that day. Um, Sunday when I got back, after I got all of my stuff taken care of, I came to my studio here and I did cardio. So, that is how I keep myself on track. Like, I always have food with me. I always stay prepared. I always make sure that I'm not going to be, like, having to hunt for food. And I try to do at least 30 minutes of cardio and stay active because that just keeps me on track. So, that is how I have found to stay on track after a show and not just go on, like, a month-long binge, which a lot of girls do and causes a lot of disordered eating. I've never had that issue during competition prep. Now, a little bit about me in the past, when I was in high school, I did suffer from an eating disorder. I have not had any issues with that since I started competing because competing taught me how to eat properly. Now, competing was healthy for me. For some girls, it's not, and it causes a lot of issues because of their restrictions. So, you have to try to find a balance, and you have to be fully aware and conscious of what you're doing. And the fact is, is that you know that you're going to be in a caloric restriction for a certain amount of time, but you're not always going to be that way. So, it's a mental game, not just as well as like a physical game that you're trying to play with yourself here. So, you have to be fully conscious of everything going on and aware and realizing that you're starting to have these patterns and you need to correct it. So, anyway, um, to answer that question on Instagram, that is how I deal with post-show binges and not doing them, <laughs> pretty much. Other than that, um, still continuing to push hard with training. I have a slight little shoulder injury. I don't know. On Tuesday, I tweaked something really weird. Um, it doesn't hurt if I do some exercises, but some it kind of like pulls and does. So, um, other than that, like I said, I'm feeling really good. I am just going to go into this show and just do my thing 
get feedback from the judges. I'm going to do a local show a week later, try to requalify, and then we'll see, you know, what I can do in four weeks for North Americans. So, yeah, stay tuned. Please subscribe. Um, please comment below. Please let me know what other content you want to see other than competition stuff, or if competition stuff is your deal, let me know that too. I'm totally happy putting out information about competitions. I've been doing this for seven years now, you know, going on next year, it'll be eight years. So I've been in this game quite a while and I have a lot of experience and knowledge under my belt that I'm happy to share with people because that is what I love to do. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a fabulous day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.